Just got off the phone with my manager. He suggested I use more profanity in my act. So any of you people here from out of town, fuck. <laughs> you two are a lovely couple. You must enjoy making whoopee fuck. Mm -hmm. Little depressed, I found out my wife's sister's been cheating on me. <laughs> Little pissed off, somebody broke my rectal thermometer. Can you believe it? Some asshole broke my rectal thermometer. Mm -hmm. I was babysitting my nephew the other night and he came running out of his room crying and screaming that there was a big monster under his bed. I freaked, I called a cab and split. I hope the kid's okay. <laughs> Found a baby on my doorstep this morning. I couldn't believe it. Tonight I leave the house, it's still there. <laughs> Recently attempted suicide. Never again, I practically killed myself. I jumped in front of a subway, but those restaurants move very slowly. Couple of Greenpeace people came to my door this morning. Luckily, I had my harpoon handy. I phoned up my poor old sick grandma before. I said, hey, nanny, how would you like it if I picked up some nice pastries and I went over to your house and we talked, had a few laughs type of thing? She said, Sean, that would be so sweet. I said, well, it'll never happen. I think my grandmother stuffs her bra. At least it feels that way. I guess the question I'm most often asked is, uh, what? I just wish people would stop accepting me for who I am and more for the person who I want to be. So my dog died. A bit of a drag. He was just learning to get by without food. Towards the end, he had arthritis and he couldn't bend. And that was a drag because I had to lick his balls. <laughs> Today I noticed my cat was really stiff, walking around the house all stiff. I don't know, maybe I slept on him wrong. <laughs> my goldfish keep dying. I don't know, I think there's something wrong with their cage. <laughs> Went to the pool today. Hmm? For a quick dip, I just had to pee. I used to be a lifeguard. I didn't save any lives, although it's not as if the opportunity never rose. Just wasn't into it type of thing. I've had a lot of jobs. I used to translate braille into print for people who had regained their sight. I used to be a priest. I swear fuck. I used to be a terrorist. I don't like that term though, terrorist. I much prefer a hostage administrator. Right now to make a few extra bucks, I give guitar lessons. I can't play the guitar, but beginners don't know that, so. <laughs> Growing up for me was very tough. We were very poor. I never had a raincoat. When it rained, I wore a garbage bag. My little brother wore a sandwich bag. Once he almost suffocated, he tripped and activated the fold log top. Uh, always had lousy toys. I had a Mr. Potato famine head. Always wanted the game operation, but we couldn't afford it, so I had to improvise with a toaster and a fork. Thank you. Couldn't afford a slinky, so I had to push my little brother down the stairs. Oh, uh, my girlfriend died. Almost a week ago, but it's only now that I can laugh about it. I didn't go to her funeral. I couldn't get a date. I asked her sister, but she had to go to some family function. And my wife didn't want to go. I met my wife in a singles bar. Huh? The flirting fuck. 
She was sitting across the bar, and I started to come on to her. I didn't know I could squirt that far. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, comedy is my job, and I quit. Thank you, and good night. Thank you. I met my wife in a nightclub. She was sitting across the bar, and I started to come on to her, you know. I didn't know I could squirt that far. <laughs> Thank you.